sure we all have good stories. Stories are really wonderful, am I right? Yes, definitely stories can take us to a level beyond our imagination. There are many types of stories. Do you know which are they? Yes, non-fiction stories, fiction stories, entertainment stories, horror stories, etc. Which type of stories do you like? I like non-fiction stories very much. Here, some of my friends are narrating some stories for you all. Shall we listen to them? Come on, get ready. Let's listen to some beautiful stories by them. I am going to say a moral story. Good advice. Arabind was a farmer. It was late evening. He was returning home from the market in his bullock cart. It, the bullock cart had a heavy load. It had banks of grains. Suddenly, it began to rain heavily. The wheels of the cart stuck in the mud. Arvind was very upset. He wailed for help. because the cart would not move but he couldn't make a effort to push the wheels from the mud after some time a stranger come why are you crying farmer the god will not help you if you simply cry and nothing do the farmer said my friend I don't know what to do. The stranger said, "Come, let's push the wheel." Farmer agreed. Suddenly, the farmer pushed the wheels of the cart. It came out from the mud. Farmer was very happy. He thanked to the stranger. I will always remember you for your good advice the farmer said The moral of the story is self help is the best help thank you Friends I am Riyaz Lakshmi I am coming from 6 I would like to share a story with you The falcon and the quail there was a big falcon he was very powerful and strong He could pick up very large animals in his claws and fly high and long. He was a terror to the smaller birds as they became his prey if they crossed his path. One day, a small quail happened to cross his path. The falcon looked at the quail and said, "Hey, small one, I give you one chance to escape. Fly as far as you can. If you evade me, I shall spare your life." The poor falcon flew far and landed on a solid rock. She heard the harping sound of the falcon in his ears. Here I come! Shouted the falcon in pomp and debated straight at the quail. The quail was waited till the last second and suddenly ducked away. The falcon who was sweeping at the quail could not control his speed. He hit hard on the solid rock and died immediately. The quail was happy now. The moral of the story is size is not might. Wisdom is might. Do you like the story? Yes. Thank you for hearing my story. My name is Acha Biju. I will tell you a small story. Neha was a young girl. Her parents loved her very much. Her mother was a teacher and her father was a doctor. She always got whatever she asked for. Whenever her parents go to the supermarket, they buy so many gifts for her. She was a quiet and pampered child. She was a bright student. She was good in her studies. She do her work all neatly and she was polite and helpful to everybody. It so happened one morning Neha entered the classroom all the children gathering around Tina they were admiring her new pen Neha also saw this pen Neha wrote her name with it Neha tells this pen was excellent as all the children admiring the pen the bell rang and the all children 
rush downstairs and go to the assembly. All the children are making the line for uh, the assembly while teacher called Neha and asked her, please bring some chalk from the classroom. Neha entered the classroom. She could not stop herself from peeping Tina's bag. She put the, the pen from her bag to see once more. She won the pen back. She heard anyone's footsteps and in a hurry she put the pen in her pocket and take some chalks in her hand. Oh, it's Viva. She was feeling not well. She come to the class rest and she ran away in her hand some chalks and in her pocket the pen. After the assembly, all the children settled down. Tina started searching her pen in her bag and her pen was missing. Teacher, her, my pen was missing and the teacher want to know who was in the class while during the assembly. All the children say it was Vipa and Vipa was called and the teacher searched in her pocket and bag but could not find the pen. Teacher uh, called Viva for stealing. Poor Viva. She, she started crying. And Neha was so afraid to tell the truth and get up and gave the pen back to Tina. And she put it in her bag. And the teacher gave one day to tell the truth to Viva. And now she was a sensitive child. She was a sensitive child. She spent the night tossing and turning in the bed. She did not forego Viva's face from her heart. And she could not sleep. Next day, the teacher came to the class and called Viva's name. But one second, Viva. She told Neha told and Neha told to the teacher, Teacher, Tina's pen is with me. I am so afraid to tell you the truth when you scold Vipa. I am really sorry. I didn't do it again. Promise. And the teacher told to Neha, Neha, you are a brave and honest girl. You tell the truth in front of the class. If you are a role model to all the children. We all make mistakes, but we are afraid to admit them. You are the good children. You are a honest girl. You are the role model of the class from today. Thank you. Oh, what a great performance! Thank you, my dear. Everything but that comes to me and makes me work and give up what I have and I will 
forget. Sometimes I'm wrong. Shake myself and splatter a few red drops for the history to remember. Then I forget. When I the people learn to remember. When I the people guess the lessons of yesterday and no longer forget who wrote me last year. Who played me for a fool. Then there will be no figure in all the world save the name the people. With any fleck of sneer in his voice or any form of smile of derision. The mob, the crowd, the mass will arrive there. Hi everyone, today I am here with a very special poem titled Life Does Not Frighten Me by Maya Angelou. Sh shadows on the wall, noise on the hall, life does not frighten me at all. Bad dogs barking loud, big ghost on a cloud, life does not frighten me at all. Mean old mother goose. Lions on the loose that do not frighten me at all. Dragons are breathing flame on my counterplane. They do not frighten me at all. I curb hoop, make them shoe. I make fun where they run. I work, I won't cry. So they fly. I just smile and they go wild. Life does not frighten me at all. Tough guys fly, fight all along at night. Life does not frighten me at all. Panthers in the park, strangers in the dark. No, they don't frighten me at all. Do not show me frogs and snakes and listen for my scream. And if I afraid at all, it's only at dreams. I have got a magic charm that I keep up my sleeve. I can walk the ocean floor and and never have to breathe. Life does not frighten me at all. Not at all. Not at all. Life does not frighten at me at all. N thank you and have a nice day. A warm good morning to all. Respected teachers and all my dear friends. I'm Anya Fatima from Standard 70. Today I'm going to recite the poem, Oh Captain, My Captain by Bob Bergman. Oh Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every wrap. Brass, the source is one. The port is near, the bells are here. The people all exulting. While falling eyes, the steady deal, the bells are scream and roaring. But the heart, 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 when the bleeding drops of red were on the deck, when Captain lies, were full, full, and dead. Oh, Captain, my Captain, rise up and hear the bells. Rise up, for you the flag is flying, for you the bugle drills. For you, the bouquets and the ribbons press. For you, the shores growing. For you, they call, being mass. The eager faces are turning. Hey, Captain, your father, his arm beneath your head. If some dreams that on the deck, you have fallen cold and dead. My Captain did not answer. His lips are pale and still. My father did not feel my arm. He's no pulse, no will. The ship is angered, safe and sound. The war is closed and done. For a fearful trip, the victory ship comes in with the object one. Exil of shores and the ring of bells. But I, with the man for day. We, the deck, my captain lies, fallen, cold, and dead. No bell. The ship is angry, safe and sound. Voyage closed and done. For a fearful trip, the victory ship comes in with the object one. Excel the shores and ring of bells, but I with mournful dread. Walk the deck, my captain lies, fallen, cold, and dead. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful performance. Apart from age, we all love pets. Some love dogs, cats, birds, etc. And some love their favorite choice as pets, especially children. As you know, developing positive feelings about pets can contribute to a child's self-esteem and self-confidence. Here, I welcome some of our friends to recount about their pets and favorite toys for you. Let's pay attention to them. 
This is my pet dog Brood. She is 2 years old. She is not big but poor. She likes to eat dry food and milk. She is so good. She is a French Bulldog. She is carrying baby. We all love Bruni. That's all about my pet dog Bruni. Thank you. Hello, I am Nita Fatima. This is my pet. It's my favorite puppy fish. It is, it is a present from my father. It is very beautiful. They have colorful taste. This is the puppy food and put it a pinch into the bowl. And 
other color sheets inside the card. You can decorate the inside of the card like this. And you can decorate outside like this. Thank you everyone for your wonderful explanation. Next, I would like to call upon Ishal Yasmin of 6th Standard for extending felicitation. Hello everyone. Hello World Online English Fest, an extension of Hello English, mainly focuses on the acquisition of language skills in students. It opens the doors of myriad opportunities of the use of the language. Through various interesting activities, students have become more confident in using the universal language. Translation of Bhumi Re Avagashira. His main works are Patume Re Ade, Prema Legam, Shabdangal, etc. He died on 5th July 1994. In this story, main characters are narrator, wife, and cousin. The story, the narrator has no opinion to kill other animals, but his wife wants to kill others that they destroy their coconuts. Last, the narrator and his wife take a decision that we don't have right to kill others 
all the living beings have right to live here. The moral of the story is, God created all things for all creatures. We don't have right to destroy them. In my opinion, this is a valuable good short story. Nowadays, it gives a good message that all living beings are rightful inheritors of the earth. We should love and care our nature. If you get a chance to read a book, please select it. The rightful inheritors of the earth. Thank you for each and everyone. Thank you friends for your smart and informative presentation about some wonderful books. Dear friends, we all like tasty books now and some are very interested in cooking also, isn't it? Here we have some of our smart friends with their yummy dish preparation. Let's enjoy. Hello, good evening and children. Today I am going to make potato semolina petal. Boil one cup of water. Here the tasty potato semolina cutlet is ready. It's a good tea time snack. It will go better with tomato sauce. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Alina Ji. I am going to present here how to make a chocolate cake. Items for chocolate cake. Maida, sugar powder, cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, vanilla essence, eggs, vinegar, sunflower oil, two bowls, three. Take a dry bowl, put the seed on the dry, dry bowl. Add 3 by 4 cup of maida put into the filter seed. Then add 3 tablespoons, 3 tablespoons of cocoa powder. Put into the, put into the baking powder. Powder 3 by of the cup. Mix it well. Take 1 by 4 cup of sunflower oil. One, 1 teaspoon, 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence. One tablespoon of 
vinegar well slowly add the maida mix into the bowl mix it well hello pour the mix into the cake pan now load the plate and put the cake pan into the cooker Now the chocolate cake is ready. We can decorate with cream. Thank you friends for taking us to the world of sweet and tasty foods. To deliver the vote of thanks to all, I'm inviting Miss Sara Nisan of 6th standard. Good evening all. Today we all have witnessed a great program. Hello world, only in English fest. Conducted for students which helped them to develop their vocabulary skills to remove reluctance in speaking and to get a very good command over English. So, before this program ends, I would like to take this opportunity to place our hearty thanks to our beloved HM Sister Roslet, whose support and guidance was very helpful in conducting this program. I also like to express our sincere gratitude to teachers and parents for their endless effort and extending their encouragement to all students. Last but not the least, thank you all students for their initiatives in participation. Once again, I thank the whole school for spending their valuable time and making this program a success. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah and Sam. Let's join with Parvati Daya and Lakshmi Daya for national anthem. Attention, national anthem. Janagana mana adinaya gajaya he Bharat bhagya vidada Punjab Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Ravida Udgal Banga. Vindhya Hima Jalaya Muna Ganga Uchala Jalati Taranga Tava Shubha Nami Jahe Tava Shubha Aashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gada Janakana Mangala Daya Gajaya He Harada Bhagya Vidada Jaya He Jaya 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 Jaya